Welcome to the V8 Supercar Championship. Today the drivers are in the land of the rising sun, Japan, at the Sportsland Sugo Track, one of Japan's largest motorsport facilities. Sugo covers many events in two and four wheels with motocross, trials and go-kart tracks to complement the 2.3 mile race course. Over the years, Super GT, Super Formula and even the World Superbike Championship have graced the Yamaha-owned Marata-based track. Today, our drivers will take the centre stage. Hello and welcome to today's as live coverage of round day of the next gen racing V8 Supercars Championship from Sportsland Sugo in Japan. My name is Andy and as always today's race is powered by PlayStation 4 and Project Cars 2 and presented by Next Gen Racing and EC Broadcast. Their last time out in New Zealand at Rapunia, Scooby G extended his championship lead with a near lights to flag victory um, over the rest of the field. He now has a near 90 point lead over second place in the championship and seems to be on his way to taking the title. However, his task of extending his lead will be made more difficult here today at this tight track due to a qualifying ban for the championship leader and we will cover the reasons for that shortly what we are going to obviously do first though is go through a lap of qualifying and we are going to go on board with the driver who has become the one lap master it seems which is the farm who has taken pole for three the last three races in a row at dubai bathurst and rapania and we'll be looking to repeat that here in today's double qualifying session let's jump on board now so we're going to take an on-board lap here with the Farmyard, who's become a bit of a one-lap specialist in qualifying, going for his fourth pole in a row in this first qualifying session as he comes up over the rise to cross the start and finish line and head down into turn one, hundred, just after the 100 metre board. Down into third gear, I think that was, and then into turn two, the car drifting and floating as the tyres are still a bit cold. This was his first lap as he goes through turn three then hard on the brakes for turn four. This corner is despicably tight, you t can't catch you out. And then through the S-bend you need to watch those sausage curves, they can really put you up in two wheels. And then up to the highest point in the track, the high point corner, third gear. And then usually most drivers down to second for rainbow corner, Titans on exit. And then up through the gears and down the back straight as we head towards the horseback corner. This is where you reach maximum speed, six gear for most. Down to either third or second gear depending on preference. Now it's sideways with a bit of drift there. And then into the left hand or third gear. A little lift and then hard on the power. Use the curb in the exit. Keep it in third. Clip the curb into fourth and then 110 110R corner. This is continuous parabolica uphill style corner. You get it right, you can take a lot of speed up the hill. And that is a lap. And this lap was a 1 minute 19, not the fastest that farmer did, but it would have been good enough for pole. And good enough for pole it would have been, but he would go even faster than that. As, as you can see on the screen, he took pole position with a 1 minute 19.06, six, nearly six times faster than the Satch in second with a 19.6. RS Dream taking a 19.9, those three the only drivers into the 1 minute 19 bracket. And you can see the split times there, the pole sitter up on every single one of them. First place as we're about to see Whitford there in fourth, Edu taken in fifth, those drivers both the only drivers in the one minute twenties, Les in sixth, Rico seventh, they two on the one twenty ones. One minute twenty twos for Ben Sully and Andy with Ropsky rounding out the top ten on a one minute twenty four and of course Scooby G didn't take part in qualifying due to that qualifying disqualification last time round in Rapunya, meaning he has to set out both sessions here, so a double whammy for the championship leader, but that 90 point lead that he's got going into this race week is going to prove very useful considering the qualifying ban. But for now it's time to get down onto the grid for race one, and let's run through the grid. So here we are on the grid then for the first of today's two sprint races rather than the one normal feature race. And as always, let's first of all run ourselves through the grid 
in pole position, becoming a bit of a regular feature now as the farm you are on pole. Four in a row for the Frenchman. Can he finally convert it into a victory with his best finish so far being second at Bathurst and last time out at Rapunia? Second on the grid, making it an all French front row for race one, is Satch 68. And he is currently sitting in fourth place in the championship, third time, third last time out at Rapunia. We'll be looking to make up points on Scooby G, who is at the back of the field. RS Jim is in third place on the grid for the race today. Currently sitting in third in the championship, just behind Edu, who is behind him on the grid. And again, another one looking to make advantage of Scooby being at the back. An impressive fourth place for the number 77 of Whitford uh, onto the fourth place slot there. He's only raced a, a last time out at Rapunia was his first effort, I do believe, in the season. And a very good show in there from the number 77. Fifth on the grid is that 29 extra yellow and black machine of Edu. And again, being second in the championship, he needs to make up some points and take advantage, like most of the others, of Scooby G's qualifying infraction. infraction. Six on the grid is the Les, who has had a difficult time last time out at Rapunia, ending up a lap off the pace down in 13th place. So we're looking for a better showing in today's two races. Rico takes up 7th in the number 3 machine and again he's in 84 points at the moment kind of battling with Slider Gas who's behind on the grid for this race so again he'll be looking to take that further and beat him for points today. 8th on the grid in the number 15 machine is Ben Sully. He took 12th last time out at Rapunia in one of his only couple of showings this year so he'll be looking to make a good impression today. Ninth on the grid is Andy in the number 12 machine. He's best qualifying off the season, I do believe, as well. So he'll be hoping to continue that moving forward into the race and as well in his championship battle, which is against the 10th place car, the number 7 of Ropsky. The Belgium is just ahead. Uh, sorry, just a point behind at this point. These two seem to be only a point between them all season so far. And the hook is going to come out on top today in that. 11th on the grid is Slider Gas after a nice 6th place last time. Not the greatest qualifying uh, from the number 78 machine, so we're looking to change that today. And then last on the grid, as we mentioned, is the championship leader, the number 34 of NGR Scooby G. So the reason for his qualifying disqualifying, sorry, his qualifying DQ, that just sounded so wrong there, <laughs> was that at Rapunia he was doing a practice start as he normally does in the pit lane, but he reversed back a bit and the game gave him a DQ. He jumped out of the lobby, he came back in and qualified in second, but that is against race rules and it's a double whammy because with this being a double race he has to sit out both qualifying sessions here today. So a lot to do for the championship leader. But we're going to take it back to the front of the grid and we are going to get this action underway. And there it is, the farm you on the front of the grid to the lights are on. And Satch has got a good start there. It's another poor start from the pole setter. And Satch is already up and into first place as they come into turn one. Whitford is ahead of the RS Gym. Edu's just giving them a bump there into turn one as they come through turn two. Getting sideways there, we're still watching the second place car, which is the farm. Your Satch is already about a second up. We're going to jump back, there's Edu. We've got Andy running wide on the grass in the background there. As they come up to the SRS Jim getting sideways out of turn four. Les is round, and Les is round and on the grass. Edu's on the gravel once again. And Ben has got through on Edu as well, so he's up to six. And look at that, Scooby G up from 12th to 8th place already as they come through Rainbow Corner and down the back straight. It's just 11 laps this race. You see Les and Ropsky in the background. So we've got a running order of Satch, the Farmier, Jim, Rico, Whitford, Ben and Scooby G. Edu and Scooby G. Then Slider Gath, Andy, the Les in 11th and Ropsky in 12th. So we're going to hold on with the championship leader for now. He's going to try and get past Edu, who's second in the championship. And he gets sideways out of that turn there as they come into the 110R long parabolica style corner. It's uphill as well, very tricky to get it right. 
And there it is, Savarov, that is Ben off on the grass at the top of the hill as everybody goes wide to avoid him. There is NGR Edu, so one lap done already, but look at the lead up front for Satch. He is 1.7 seconds clear already of the Farmer, who's got quite a gap ahead as Rico has got himself up into third place. Fantastic start there from the number three machine, but he's about to throw it all away. Going on the grass before the S-Bend, there is Jim all over the back of that number three machine. And you can see in the background Andy getting sideways as he tries to go by Ben, uh, ben there for ninth place. We're going to follow this battle because it's all around here. One and two are ahead and away. So this is Rico, Jim in the slipstream, Whitford fifth, NGR Edu in the slipstream of him in sixth. NGR Scooby already up to seventh, Rico hard on the brakes into the horseback corner. And he's able to carry on that. Is Ben off in the background again as well? It's the second time he's been off, and Jim is spinning. Jim has spun. He's kept going, but he's down to seventh place now. That's cost him a lot of time. That is not what he wanted to do, and that has just handed another position to Scooby G as he comes up through the field. So two laps done on the lap three, and Scooby G has already made up half the places from his 12th place starting position. Lap 3, Scooby G good on the brakes here, RS Jim thinks about it, Jim has run wide again, he's in the gravel and he's spun, Andy having to take a void in action there, and Jim is now down to 11th place, Andy, Ropsky and the Les all getting past, Ben Sully has fell to the wayside for the moment, and that is not what he wanted to happen there, Jim not having the greatest of time here, the start of this race. We've got the Les going on the seventh place pass on Slider Gas. Andy's got a box seat behind them into the high point corner and into Rainbow Corner. Side by side, they've hit the bumped. And Andy's spun in the background as well. He's in the wall. Not what anything wanted. Les has got through. Andy's backwards and now in the back of the field. And Les through to seventh though, coming into horseback. Back up, Edu's got himself up to third, just passing Rico there. We just got the end of that, going through the left-hander. Whitford getting sideways in the grass, and Scooby G now up to fifth place. Under pressure from Whitford, but he's going to have a go at Rico, coming up the hill. It's on no change at the front, Satch is pulling away two seconds clear, and a farmer who's got at least seven seconds over this battle. Scooby G going for the outside line, heading towards turn one. Can he do it? Hard on the brakes. Rico's got the inside line. Scooby G getting sideways there, but keeps it together into turn two. And he's got Whitford right on his tail as well. Excellent battling all the way through the field as always here in V8 Supercars on Next Gen Racing. As Scooby G in fifth place at the moment comes through the s bend trying to get by Rico. You can see Les just in the, so that's, um, yeah, Les in the background there with the headlights ablaze. He's made in business today. And they come through Rainbow Corner and down the back straight. No change at the front. And Whitford's run onto the grass there. Don't know if that was due to a touch or a problem. He's got away with it. And in the background you've got Jim and Ropsky having a battle over 9th and 10th. As Rico and Scooby come through the horseback corner. Les getting on the grass there through that corner too. It's not going to help him into the next bit in his battle with Whitford, but he has got by. And Scooby having to go wide onto the gravel there. Rico a bit slow out the corner, caught the championship leader out. But he's managed to maintain the place, but he has fell back a little bit from the battle in with the number three machine. But lap five, and it is so far easy going for Satch at the front, the number 43 machine. Around about 1.72 2 seconds clear of the pole sitter, the Farmier, who has got nearly eight seconds over everyone else. So these two well ahead as the Farmier two-wheel driving through the S-Bend, really ragdolling it through. We come back to third place, Edu has got a bit of a gap there over Rico, so he's going to keep try and get that and keep it going. Pull ahead. Rico has still got a gap on Scooby at the moment after that run onto the gravel for the 34 machine, but I don't think it's going to take long for the championship leader to catch up. So come down the back straight. We can see 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 
eighth, ninth, even tenth, all in the one long pan shot there as Rico hard the brakes, spit a flame as he comes down, missed the apex but got away with it. And Les and Whitford having a bit of a scrap there over sixth and seventh, just behind them as they go into this double left hander. Third gear, and Les getting sideways on exit, Scooby G all over the back of Rico. Can he get a good run up the hill and have a go into turn one as they come up to complete lap six, halfway done already in this first of two sprint races. And Scooby makes a look to the outside, trying to fill the mirrors of Rico to put him off. Doesn't work this time. But he, sportsmanship there trying to put him off and then Rico getting a bit deep in the brakes. So we've got four, five, six and seven all in a line. Les a bit deep in the brakes there, nearly took the championship leader out as well. But really, really close racing as always. This is the closest sort of battle on the track. You can see Slider Gas and Jim ahead. Slider's let him go, so maybe he's accidentally took that place by mistake. And look at this, down the back straight. We have four, fifth, six, and seventh. Only about a second between it. You don't even need me to tell you the times. You can see it. Into the horseback. And Whitford looking for the outside. He's got wide. Whitford's on the grass. But he holds on to 7th place, but he's lost a bit of ground. It's going to allow Jim the chance to catch up. Here comes Scooby, he's going for the inside at 130. Oh, that's a bit dangerous, that's a bit brave. Such a tricky corner, Rico gets the line back. Taking that inside line might have compromised the championship leader, but coming up the hill, he's in the slipstream. Under the Dunlop Bridge, lap 7. Looks to the inside again. Not close enough. This is easily the closest battle on track. Running order in lap seven. Satch from the farmyard. Edu, Rico, Scooby. Les now going past on the outside of the championship leader, is he? He's got the outside line. Can he hold it in the S-Bend? Bit of a bump. Les holds it together. Whitford just bumps it to the back of him. Jim's going to take advantage. Les didn't feel he's too happy at that possibly. I don't know, but they're going to carry on. Scooby still 5th, Les 6th, Whitford 7th, Jim's in 8th, you can see the 5 of them on screen. There's Slider Gas in 9th, you've got Ropsky there in 10th in the background. And the two further back that you'll see coming in the shot is Ben and Andy in 11th and 12th. They're battling over the last two positions. Scooby G still trying to find a way by the blue number 3 machine. Getting closer to the end of the race. No changes at the front, the leaders are doing 21. 1 minute 21.5s, almost identical lap times, Edu's doing a 20.5, so he's a second quicker last time round there. And now he's down to a 21.6, Scooby's got to run up the hill though. Under the bridge, over the line to start lap 8, he's really close here. Will he put it under brakes, will he have a go, he's going for it, under braking. Rico takes the line, just cuts him off, very close indeed to an accident. But it still has maintained the status quo, 4th and 5th. Whitford 6th, Jim's got himself up to 7th, Les has disappeared. So obviously had a bit of an off somewhere, and he's fell back to 10th. And he's got Ben all over him in 11th, so not good there for the number 11, dropping back. We missed that one on the live broadcast, so... We need to continue on. Whitford getting sideways there out of Rainbow Corner. Skippy still looking for a way by Rico. He's going to go and have a look at the horseback. Thinks better off it. Rico's run wide again. That's not the first time he's got wide there, but he's managed to keep a hold of it. And then into these two double lefts that are taken, usually in about third gear. And Scooby's got a much better line coming out of there. He's got a great run. On the number four machine. Sorry, number three machine. Number four is obviously the farm here. Coming up to start lap nine. He's not got many laps left. He's going to have to try and make a move now if he wants to get any further positions out of this race. Remember, points are only worth half in sprint races when you've got a double race. So, not as many points up for grabs, but two good races. You can still get the same amount of points you'd get for one good race 
on a normal session. <clears throat> but Whitford and Jim not far behind. This is the closest battling on track, really. Apart from maybe Ben and Les. Andy's dropped back, so it's not too good. You'll not be happy at that. But up the front, lap nine, it is Satch. One and a half seconds clear. He's been kind of maintaining that gap all race. Not really lost too much of it. The Farmier, once again, unable to convert pole into the first lap lead. And it looks like it could be another race, another pole, and another time that he's not won from pole position. That'll be starting to frustrate the Frenchman. And that'll be starting to wonder, is he a one lap specialist? And can he get the win? before the end of the year. Further back is Eddie, he's 10 seconds off the lead, but he's 10 seconds ahead of this is Scooby going for the inside, lights a blaze. Rico is able to hold on though, coming up the hill. Rico's gone inside, trying to avoid the slipstream, Scooby pulls back. Penultimate lap, last but one, as they cross the line. Hard on the brakes, the nose dives as they break there. The big lump in V8 in the front, so of course it does. This is 4, 5, 6 and 7, all in one shot within a second. Fantastic stuff. Further back, we've got Slider Gas, Robski's in 9th, Ben's 10th, Les has dropped to 11th. Andy's still down in 12th, Ben and Les looking pretty close on track, but this is ridiculous. Look at this, Rico's held up. Scooby's going to lose a place to Whitford. And the 77 goes down the inside, and now Jim's got the inside nearly, but Whitford getting sideways. Coming up to Rainbow Corner. The jump back here, Whitford's still got the place, but Jim's now got a run on Scooby as well, so it's going to be interesting coming into horseback. Hard on the brakes, Jim's got the inside line on Scooby, and after all of that, Scooby G actually loses two, two places there. All due to just getting caught out by Rico in the S-Bend. And Scooby G now back in 7th place after fighting for 4th just at the lap before. We are coming round, the leader is on the final lap, but it is hard to leave this action here. Further back, not much change except for Ben has now dropped to last after going off the road again. And he's now in 11th and chasing down the Les. Scooby looks to the inside of Jim trying to put him off but can't do anything there. We are watching Whitford in this battle for third, fourth, fifth and sixth. Oh, sideways Whitford getting there in the 77 almost through the S-Bend. Very tricky to get it right. You catch that raised curb, it can throw you off. Jim's done exactly that, getting on the grass. Keeps it together. There's Edu. Edu's had some trouble as well because he's now right just in front of this lot. He was 10 seconds clear of this. So he's done something. He's gone off the road somewhere. Here's Rico. Whitford looking at Rico. Will he go for it? No, he will not. He holds it together. But Satch is over the line to take the win. It's an easy win for the 43 machine followed by the pole setter in second. But we are coming back to this. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth, look at this. Whitford, Jim, all looking to get by Rico, has put up a fantastic defensive drive. Can he hold on to that fourth place? He's hit the curb, he's going to lose out now. Edu's going to take third, but look at this over the line. Who's going to take it? It's Whitford fourth, Rico's fifth, Jim in sixth, and Scooby takes seventh. Look at that, that's incredible. Slider gas in eighth, Ropski in ninth. We look further back, here comes the Les and Andy for 10th and 11th. The two Dread Glove machines cross the line together. And at the back in 12th will be Ben Sully. And that is the end of race one and it's a win for the Satch. So race one in the books and it is a victory for Satch 68 up front. Taking the win by just over three seconds from the pole set of the Farmier. And the front row of 1-2, finish 1-2 in the race, but the other way round with Satch getting the jump at the start and taking a lights-to-flag victory here in race 1 at Sugo. 
Edu have maintained third, although he was 27 seconds behind and getting caught after a mistake at the end, as you were talking, we were talking about there. Rico taking a fantastic fourth place. I do believe that to be his best finish of the season by quite a bit. Indeed it is. His best position beforehand was sixth place at Bar first, so he'll be delighted with that. Uh, sixth, fifth place, Scooby G taking home fifth. Um, he will be happy to get up the field from his 12th place starting position. 6th place was Whitford. A decent result there for him. Jim dropped down to 7th. Not what he wanted, especially with Scooby getting ahead. Slider Gas 8th. Ropsky taking home 9th, which is his best result so far this season. And the Les in 10th, who takes rounds out the top 10. And then the last two runners were Andy in 11th and Ben in 12th. Ben having a bit of a an up and down race. A number of times he was off the track and he'll be looking to improve on that in race 2. So before race 2, though, there was a second qualifying session. And in that, once again, the farm you're on top and 19-0 one more time. The consistency in qualifying from that number 4 machine is absolutely fantastic and that is the 5th pole position in a row. There is no one who can touch that 4 machine when it comes to qualifying. Satch took 2nd once again, they were two of the only drivers in the 1 minute 19s. Whitford in 3rd and Edu 4th, Les 5th, Ropsky in 6th, a fantastic qualifying effort there from the Belgium. Ben in 7th, so it's a good qualifying effort after that first race disappointment of finishing in 12th. Slidergas, Vidikas and Andy round out the top 10. So now, it's time to head down to the grid, but before we do, a quick word from one of our advertisers. with you. Such 68. Oh, the perfume. So it would seem that our race one winner is not only a dab hand on the track, but also a dab hand at picking out what's great for the female racing driving fan. Or maybe just the male fan as well. Who knows? But thank you very much to our advertiser for this week. We'll see who's next on the list next week shall we but for now it's back to the grid for race 2 at Sportsland Sugo who's going to take the victory out this time before the end of this race week so here we are back on the grid for race 2 at Sportsland Sugo and it is the same front row as race 1 and a 5th pole position in a row for the farm year and he will be hoping to finally convert that into a victory in this second race. He's joined by race one winner and second place in the grid last time out, Satch in the 43 machine on second. Third place, a great qualifying second time out from Whitford in the 77 machine. And Edu taking fourth in that number 29 car. Fifth place, Les with a lovely qualifying. We're hoping to put the couple of issues that he had in race one to bed. And Ropsky with a stunning sixth place qualifying. I think that's his best of the season so far. Ben, who finished last in that race, he starts in seventh with Slider Gas in eighth. We've also gained Vidikas for this race as well after a disconnection issue uh, took him out of race one. So he lines up ninth. Uh, Andy's in tenth. Ropsky in eleventh. Uh, sorry, Rico in 11th, and Scooby at the back of the grid. From the first race, we have still got 12, but we are missing one driver, and I can't even put my name on it. In fact, we are missing Jim. That's who we are missing, which is unfortunate for the third place championship driver. He's dropped out of the second race. That was due to disconnection issues as well, which was what took out this number 44 machine from the first race as well. But, time to get into the action for race number two. The lights are on again. And it's another good start from Satch. Whitford's got a great start as well. And Satch takes the lead with Farmer and Whitford hitting. 
door handles into turn one. Edu there in fourth trying to get alongside. Coming into turn two. And Whitford's round. Whitford's round. And there's Carnage. Ben's off. Rico's off. Incredible. Just Carnage there coming out of turn one and two. Ben down to last. He caught Whitford went round, caught Ben into Rico. It's unfortunate for for Ben there. Whitford got turned. Come across the track. But up the front it's Satch. The Farmers in second. Edu's in third. Les up to fourth. Slider gas after starting near the back up to fifth place already. Ropsky maintains sixth and Andy's came up from tenth to seventh as they come down towards the horseback corner. Scotsman saw on the wheel there. Vidicaz in 8th and NGR Scooby already up to 9th, Whitford in 10th, Rico 11th and Ben down in 12th. But Satch once again, like he did in the first race, already nearly 2 seconds clear at the end of lap 1. He's just got a knack, it seems, around here for getting away quickly and getting a good lead early doors. So Farmyard's got a bit of a gap on Edu but not much and then behind it is just stream after stream, you can see them all behind there, eh? Les coming in, deep on the brakes, Ropski, going to jump back to Vidikas, he's trying to get by Andy, but he's got Scooby behind, so he needs to be careful. This is 8th place at the moment, the Chet driver running wide onto the curb there, he won't want to do that, and oh my goodness me, Whitford's just bumped into Scooby G there. Got away with it. Now Rico up the inside of Whitford into the S bend. That's a tricky place. They both survived. And Rico's got the inside line into high point corner. Whitford's going to try and hold it around the outside, but he's going to have to give into Rainbow Corner. And Rico is through. So third place down to 11th for Whitford. Not what he imagined for this race, but cut back here to Scooby G thinking about having a go at Vidicaz. Vid oh my goodness me. Vidicaz is off the track nearly into the back of Andy and there he is in the gravel looks like he missed his braking there he's down to 12th now so it's Andy now trying to hold off Scooby G this will be interesting Rico in ninth trying to hold off a resurgent Whitford trying to get back up through the field <coughs> excuse me but the front on the lap 3 it is the Satch 68 still ahead into turn 2 Farmier 1.4 behind and Edu is just a half second off of him as well. Fourth place is Les, he's got Slider Gas just behind him. Ropsky doing well holding on to six, he's got his rival behind them in the championship, Andy in seventh, who's trying to hold off the championship leader Scooby G in eighth. Excuse me. Rico in ninth, Whitford tenth, Benson eleventh and Vidicas in twelfth after that near crash at the horseback corner. Oh, in this battle for 6th, 7th and 8th just now. Ropsky, Andy and Scooby G now. The first two, Ropsky and Andy, have been fighting all season long. And only a couple of points between them really in the championship. So this is a continuous and ongoing battle between the Belgium and the Scotsman. But with Scooby G behind wanting to get past, that's going to put a different spin onto this battle for these two. It'll be interested to see how they can handle that. And he's on the grass here. He won't want to do that too much. Rotsky's been looking pretty good around Sugo. Looks a lot more comfortable around this track as he has done in recent weeks. And they come over the line and it is still pretty much as is. Farmer's catching up to Satch. 1.2 seconds in the lead, so we'll keep an eye on that. Scooby having a look at Andy. No can do, we're going to actually follow the Scotsman, so we can then follow them all three at one go. Get sideways out of turn two and into turn three, lick a flame from the exhaust there. <coughs> and into turn four, coming up to the S-bend. Very easy to get it wrong here, you catch that raised curb, put you on two wheels and you end up stunt driving. And into high point corner, the highest point on the track, and then rainbow corner down the back straight. You can see Les and Slider Gas just ahead as well. Now Scooby's got a bit of a run. Ropsky's got a bit wide out the corner too. So could Andy be thinking of an attack of his own maybe? To come into the breaking zone. Keeping it together very nicely indeed. 
while we watch this incredible battle between the championship leader and the two guys that are fighting over 10th and 11th in the championship it just goes to show you how good the race this year at next gen and if you do want to join and get involved as Andy gets wide out of 110R Scooby's going to have a run up the inside here if you do want to get involved the descriptions are below to the Facebook page and you can be involved next week possibly here comes Scooby to the inside on Andy and that is a clean move Scotsman possibly just realising there's probably no point fighting it too much Scooby is generally the faster driver although he's got a bit wide there and he might fancy his chances of going back up the inside Farmier's dropped back from the lead Andy over the grass off of the ball Rops is going to give Ropsky a chance to pull away Slider Gas has got himself up to fourth ahead of Les those two are fighting as well so if we come back to here you can see Slider and Les into the horseback and Slider Gas winds Les slides in in sympathy but they're side by side and Slider giving them a bit of a nudge just within the rules I would say behind Ropsky NGR, Scooby and Andy have come through. So this is probably the closest battle on track just now. The leader is 2.7 clear as Satch goes for a double and Les is off, Les is off. And Ropsky's off as well, Scooby avoids it. Andy's avoiding Ropsky and hits Les. Goodness me, didn't see that one because he came over and round the rise. And Les trying to get going again, having to wait for the field to go through. Has he got an issue with that car? It seems so. Possible the correction issues as well. And it looks like Les is out of the race. That is a great shame for him. Ropsky was the loser in all that though. As Scooby is now up to 5th. Andy took 6th. And Ropsky ran wide as well. He's down to 7th now. So running order halfway through. Satch 2.5 seconds clear of the Farmer. Who's a second clear at NGR Edu. Slider Gas is about 7 seconds back there in 4th with NGR Scooby in 5th as we're looking at him just now 2 seconds back Andy in 6th, Ropsky in 7th, we're going to follow Ben and Rico because Ben's just got by Rico there coming out of Rainbow Will Rico go back on the offensive into horseback? No he will not, he's actually on the grass, he won't want to do that So Ben in 8th, Rico in 9th, got Whitford's drop down in 10th with Vidicas 11th and Les now out of the race in 12th after that wide run out in 110R and across the track as well. So, we're in about a second between everyone really at the moment, so we're just going to follow the leader for a wee moment. There's a couple of close battles which we'll go to in just a bit. I'm just going to give the leader some TV time because over both races we've not seen much of him because all the action's been behind. So, I'm going to follow here just for a moment, just keep an eye on the times as the uh, leader comes through Rainbow Corner. Last lap, 1 minute 20.6, but look at the Farmer's lap, a 1 minute 20 dead. He is really trying to pull out those qualifying laps. Edu's not far behind either, he's on a 20.7, so there you go, Satch 20.6 actually last lap round, I do apologise. So, these three seem to be the only drivers within the 1 minute 20s. Slider's doing a 22. And the camera trying to catch him. There he is going through horseback. <coughs> and he's got Scooby G ahead. And then you got six places Andy, seven for Ropsky. He's about a second back. Those two once again fighting as they have been all season long. Ben is right behind Ropsky as well. We'll go and follow that for a quick second. Coming through the 110R corner. Tricky to get right, but if you get it, you can get a lot of speed going up the hill. Remember those default setups, it means to come all, one come all. There's no tuning here, it's default. It's all down to driver skill, which makes it such a competitive league. And Ropsky getting really deep on the brakes there. Gathers it all up, just about. You can see Rico in the background there in ninth. We are on lap 8 of 11 in the second race here at Sportsland Sugo. Of the round 8 of the next gen 
V8 Supercars Championship using Project Cars 2 on the PlayStation 4. I say all championships are on PlayStation 4 on Next Gen Racing. We also have leagues running across a set of Corsa and GT Sport as well. Look at the description below for the links to the Facebook page. Coming down the back straight, you can see 6th place Andy, 7th place Ropsky who were following, lights ablaze, Ben's in 8th. Here brakes squeal and Andy's ran wide, they had got late on the brakes. You heard the brakes and the tyres squealing in agony. As the Scotsman tried to get the car slowed down, sliding it out of that corner there, not to 110R later. Pitching it in there. Now Slider's got Scooby G right over the back of him coming up to turn one. This is lap nine. He goes to the outside, the championship leader. Can he hold it? Slider turning Scooby G round the outside. Takes over fourth place with a brilliant move. That looked pretty clean. And if so, obviously it can be lag. But it looked very clean to me. And that was a brilliant move from the championship leader to get up to fourth place. And it gains some more valuable points as he comes back from being last on the grid. And he's gained a bit of time over the Ropsky and Ben. So he's gained a bit of breathing space for now. Vidicus is now ahead of Rico. But Whitford still trying to catch up these two are at the back end of the field. Les is showing his 12th on the screen, but he is out of the race with a disconnection issue. And Verica is getting very sideways on the curb there, coming out of Rainbow Corner. Looks like Whitford might have done the same. Very close racing through the field. Verica is really deep on the brakes. Holds it together through horseback. The leader is on the 10th lap, he's on his penultimate lap. There's Ropsky coming up the hill, Ben is all over, Edu's fell back. Scooby is now up into third place, he's on the podium. Sliders for something's happened to Edu, who's dropped back. Andy having a look at the number 29 machine. And Sliders fell back as well, so 4th, 5th, 6th and 7th here. Everyone together. Andy maybe just slightly nudge. Ben getting sideways. This is the penultimate lap. There's only one more to go after this. And all over the curb and goes the 29 and the 12 machine. Into high point corner and into rainbow corner and down the back straight. So something happened between Ed for Edu and then possibly with slider gas as well. These two have dropped back to 4th and 5th, having been 3rd and 4th, that's allowed Scooby G to get away. You can see all the way back to 11th, so this is 4th down to 11th, all in the one shot there down the back straight, which is absolutely fantastic. And we need to keep an eye at the front as well, because it's down to a second as they go over the line to start the last lap. There is your leader, with Farmier just behind, but we need to go back to this battle. There's Edu. This is 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th and 11th pretty much. This is pretty much the rest of the field. Almost all within about 5 seconds each are. Into turn 1. And it is sideways. Rally crossing it. And Andy's going to look to try and take advantage. Goes to the outside. Edu's had to go defensive. Can Andy go by? Edu keeps the middle ground. Andy going to the outside. Can he keep it? Can he get in the power? Thinks about it, but comes back. And, oh, he's bumped him. A bit of a bump. Edu's gone wide. Ropsky's bumped his way through it. And Andy getting bumped out there. Edu just to the inside. Ben's trying to force his way in as well. Ropsky, the beneficiary there. He's up to fifth. Andy's now got Ben everywhere. And Whitford's off in the background. Ben on the inside of Andy, can he keep it together? Hard on the brakes. And he does indeed, we need to jump back to the front as Satch takes another victory from the Farmyard. Great stuff, Scooby's going to come home from third, but this is the battle. What is going to happen here? Who's going to come home? So Scooby's home in third. Slider is just ahead, he's going to take fourth place by the looks of it. 
Ropski and Edu here, fifth and sixth. And Ed, Edu's run wide, he's on the grass, he's in the gravel, he's sideways, and he's off, and that's a loss of place. Ben's going to take six, it's going to be seven for Andy. Vidicas gets himself to eighth, Rico ninth, and Whitford in tenth. And Edu, after all of that, <laughs> they have a bit of fun at the end, but after all of that, Edu running wide, having run third for most of the race, is going to come home the last runner in 11th place. And that is the end of race two, and another win for Satch. And that does it for race number two and for the second time this season at the double race event. Happened at Long Beach as well, it's happened again here. Satch 68 takes the two wins, so two times there's been two double races, two times we've had the same winner in both races. Once again it's the same 1-2, same as it was on the grid, but swapped around once again. And the farmer must be wondering what he needs to do to be able to take a victory finally at these events. Third place was Scooby after that great drive through the field and avoiding most of the carnage. Slider gas with a fantastic fourth place. And Rotsky taking home another season best after taking home the season best sixth place, ninth place, sorry. Last time out, he's now done fifth place in race two, so well done to him. Ben Sully is uh, taking home six, Andy seventh, Vidicas eighth, Rico in ninth, Whitford in tenth, and Edu was last after that last lap, last corner spin out at the 110R corner. So what does that mean for the championship standings? Well, it means that the Satch Sat 68 has now moved up to second place on 210 points, but Scooby G is still ahead in first on 295 points, with only a number handful of rounds to go. Will anyone be able to catch him before the end of the season? It's looking unlikely at this point. Edu has dropped to third in the championship in 202 points. Jim is in fourth on 191. And the Farmy are now up to fifth place on 185 points after two second places and two extra points for both pole positions. Vidicas is in sixth places on 150, Les on 130, and Slidergas on 110, with Rico only five back on 105 points. And then that ongoing battle between Ropsky and Andy, Ropsky now leads by three points, 78 to 75, over the Scotsman. But that is it for another week of VA action on Next Gen Racing. Next time out, it is Europe and Barcelona for the next round on Tuesday evening. So if you want to join, hit the description below and we'll see if there's any spaces available. The next time we will have commentary will be around about this time next week from that race in Barcelona. But until then, my name is Andy and I'll see you at the next time in Barcelona in the next video. Ta-ra.